Hi guys, so I was crying a little bit, I'm sad, I'm quite down today, I was going with my bike and it's really hot and I was just thinking about my mom and everything kind of, I don't know, was a chaos in my head. <laughs> And uh, my sinuses hurt, my head hurts. Mm. Uh. My teeth is, you know, just what it is for now. I have 15 more days to do it because then they shut down the dental um, university where they do this. So. I have to come to my senses and do it, but I have to calm down first. We have a lot of problems at home, you know, with my dad. And, yeah. This year was just a, I don't know, well not was, is a strange year. But in all that, you know, I just, you know, I do have an exhibition, I am getting other exhibitions and I just said one when my one of my GIF arts was exhibited in this big installation but you know it's little it's these little things that make your day but then again they remind you that your mom will not see it but the exhibition that still lasts the big one my mom saw the catalog and she was so happy for me and I remember the last time I saw her I told her mom I'm gonna be on TV because I gave an interview she just smiled at me looked at me like this and I saw in her eyes so much love that's when I gave her a kiss and said goodbye because that's two days ago two days after that she passed away but you know it's just it's little things that make life a little bit more bearable after somebody de somebody's death. And yeah, I just, I just um, grieve in my own way. I know we all have, you know, our own ways with dealing with grief. And but you know, it's just, it's a strange thing when somebody just. Not disappears because we knew that's gonna happen, but we and we dealt with it. But you know, when you just see the, you know, think about things that my mom did, and now there's nobody to do that, and those are so little subtle, subtle things, you know, and it breaks your heart. Anyway, I just wanted to say that, guys. I just wanted to get it on my chest. I don't have I don't have energy to do anything, but I do have to cook. So, love you guys. Uh, stay safe and love each other.